India's workhorse rocket fires again today. ISRO's LVM-3 Bahubali, the nation's most powerful launcher, is all set to lift off from Sri Harikota, carrying the US Bluebird satellite. Now, this mission is the sixth operational flight of the LVM-3. The LVM-3 launch vehicle stands 43.5 meters tall, with a 4-meter core diameter and a 5-meter payload fairing. A three-stage heavy lift rocket, it has a massive liftoff weight of around 640 tons. Now, weighing 6,100 kilograms, the U.S. Bluebird Block 2 satellite aims to provide direct-to-mobile space-based connectivity designed to link satellites directly to smartphones without ground towers or special equipment. It uses large antennas for high-capacity signals and builds on the success of earlier Blue Walker tests targeting global mobile coverage. So from human space flight to mega payloads, LVM-3 showcases India's growing commercial muscle, the India-US space tango in full force. Now these are the latest visuals from Sri Harikota where in just a few minutes from now the launch will be taking place uh, on board the LVM-3. The satellite is on board the LVM-3 uh, from ISRO and this is the Bluebird satellite. Uh, it weighs around 6,100 kgs and this is uh, the heaviest ever satellite that the LVM-3 rocket will be carrying. The countdown for LVM3 and my colleague uh, Pramod Madhav is now joining us uh, with the latest long. update. Pramod, uh, tell us about uh, the pre launch that checks uh, that must be underway long. and uh, how significant is this, this time, mission for India? Actually, it's a very big, important mission, uh, Anjali, because, like you mentioned, this is LVM3, which means launch vehicle mark 3 of the gslv series and already we have proved that the pslv is our workhorse but a very important aspect is that these are required for medium heavy load vehicles and this is why for the first time gslv is actually going to carry a 6100 kilogram satellite earlier it was a 4400 kilogram satellite that was successfully launched and placed in our orbit and right now we are having this also this particular satellite scored as a bluebird block two and this is actually an ast uh, mobile uh, technology satellite and this is supposed to give direct link for internet and everything to the phone access itself through satellite version but very important the thing is that like now isro is trying to prove that not just small satellites it also can bring large satellites as well so what's happening here is that like isro is trying to enter a niche market with perfection that is about like you know carrying satellites for multiple countries especially communication satellites are the ones are in demand right now and for that they needed rocket and like the launch vehicles and that's what we are seeing right now this is an lbm3 just like you mentioned it's carrying a 6100 kilogram satellite into orbit we're expecting 160 kilometers or such a low earth orbit and that's why every, like, you know, everybody's looking to it because now isro is very clearly showing that it will enter the commercial market and it will dominate the commercial market underneath Absolutely, Pramod. So with this mission, can LVM-3 now become the preferred option for carrying commercial satellites worldwide? Well, actually, one important aspect is like from French Guyana, we used to have a kind of a rocket called as the Ariane that was very important for like launching of such satellites. But those rockets, we've been told, are not going to be available any longer, which means that market, the ISRO is going to actually acquire. And that's what we are seeing one after the other, especially foreign foreign nations or foreign private companies going ahead and using our rocket launch, launch system, that is the LVM3 in particular, they are preferring. And this is actually also helping us in actually going ahead and developing our own LVM rocket series because this will be used for the Gaganyan mission as well. And that is why these launches are very important, I believe. Right, Pramod, also tell us about the time at which the launch is all set to take place. Uh, we're learning that we're just a few minutes uh, away from uh, this mega launch. The, the rocket launch system that we're calling right now, the LVM-3, is a three-stage rocket. We are going to have a two S-200 strap-on booster rockets, that is the solid rocket system, and then it can use a solid fuel, and then we have the main system and the core that will have liquid system, liquid propulsion system, and the last stage will be a cryogenic engine. That is a very, very important engine that is developed in India as well. And then you have the upper fairing, which will carry the shield, and under which you will have, inside which you will have the satellite. Around, it was earlier mentioned that the launch will be by 8.46 a.m., but right now it has been more to 8.55 a.m. at least. Operates on the combination of UH-25. Right, uh, Pramod. And also tell us about the significance of this mission, the significance of the Bluebird satellite. 
I think the important aspect with any rocket launch system is that we have one shot only at one particular rocket and there cannot be any kind of error. That's why, that is why ISRO is very clearly, the margin of error for ISRO is like very, very less. Even a small valve not working properly can cause, and recently, almost two or three days ago, there was a Chinese rocket that was launched, but a Japanese rocket that was launched, but it could not actually reach the orbit because one of the hydrogen tank system pressure valve was not working properly, and that led to a failure. So that is why everything is very important. That is why ISRO meticulously goes through every other system. The mixture of these, uh, these two, uh, when it comes to liquid uh, propulsion system, the micro mixture of those three gases is very important for propulsion as well. And when it comes to the solid system, once you ignite it, you cannot control the ignition after that. So that's the reason everything is meticulously done and one after the other as ISRO proves that, you know, that the margin of error is very, very less. The foreign uh, companies and such, the people who want to launch uh, rock, I mean, uh, the satellites and such, the payload, they start trusting ISRO and the ISRO gets more and more of this, which also actually gives the kind of necessary experience and experiment that is required for the manned mission. So it's a kind of win-win situation where ISRO is perfectly launching all these rockets so far, Anjali. All right, uh, Pramod, uh, do stay with us. We'll keep coming back to you for more updates on this mega launch. Uh, the satellite, the 6,100 kg Bluebird satellite is all set to be launched on the LVM-3, the ISRO's LVM-3 rocket. And we're just a few minutes away from this mega launch. So let us understand why LVM-3 mission matters. It's the first of its kind, the first, a first U.S. company using Indian rocket for large satellite. Remember, it weighs 6,100 kgs. Dedicated LVM-3 launch for American commercial payload, and it also breaks pattern of only small or joint satellite launches. Now, LVM-3 will be launching a satellite weighing 6,100 kgs. Now, it's also a boost for ISRO. The, this mission strengthens ISRO's global trust. It also positions ISRO as heavy commercial launch partner and it, it is also a game changer for the connectivity as a, a space mobile uses fewer but larger satellites. It also aims high capacity broadband with less infrastructure. Now, antenna technology edge, uh, the Bluebird 6 carries massive phased array antenna, 64 square meter antenna enables direct to mobile signals and there's no need for ground stations or special devices or towers on the ground. Now, what makes it unique? Smartphones can connect directly to the satellite. There's no need for towers and uh, seamless coverage from cities to remote regions. So this is the significance of this mission and uh, this satellite that will be launched on board the LVM-3. Now, what is ISRO's LVM-3 mission? LVM-3 stands for Launch Vehicle Mark III. It is also known as India's heavy lift Time rocket, nicknamed as Bahubali for its payload capacity, and it can carry heavy satellites and crew missions. And it is used for commercial commercial and strategic payloads. It has been successfully, uh, it has successfully launched Chandrayaan-3 in the past and it also carried one web communication satellites and it has been selected for Gaganyaan human space flight as well. And uh, my colleague uh, Pramod Madhav continues to stay with us. Pramod, what are the technical challenges for carrying a satellite weighing 6,100 kgs on LVM-3? Actually, there are quite a lot of technical challenges over here because, like, we are actually trying to send in a multi-ton vehicle close more than 6,000 tons. Of, like, you know, it needs to escape the velocity, I mean, the uh, gravitational force of Earth. So what happens here is that, like, we are using two technology, two types of engines over here. One engine that uses the solid fuel system. The only thing with solid fuel system is that you get rapid uh, kind of, you know, uh, uh, the uh, uh, what the thrust required, we get a rapid thrust required, but you cannot actually once you ignite it, you cannot control how much thrust you need or require. So like maneuvering or all those things, it's like you cannot do that. So that's why we use the second propulsion system, which is the liquid propulsion system. We generally use uh, two, uh, the, uh, an oxidizer, oxidizer and a fuel, either be hydrogen or oxygen in liquid system. But that needs to be only refueled at the last stage. And this is why we say that the last stage of preparation is very much required when it comes to such rockets. The important aspect is that the third system is much, much more uh, like uh, very difficult. That is the cryogenic system because we will use the actual liquid for the, uh, the chemicals or that that's being used as oxidizer and the fuel. Right, Pramod, do stay.